What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. So this just in, Redfin is publicly displaying buyer's agent's commissions. This is very, very interesting. They're only gonna do this with Redfin's listings. So they're only gonna do this with their own listings. They say that they're doing this because they want to be more transparent to the public. And also they did a survey and they realized that over half of the general public does not know how a buyer's agent is pay. I would love to hear your opinion on this and smash that like button while you're at it. And also right here in the article it talks about how Redfin argues in its statement that adding transparency regarding commission should stimulate conversations between consumers and their agents about what is fair and ultimately lead to more competition and lower fees for consumers. This is a very interesting statement by Redfin because it's literally saying that Redfin is not looking out for real estate agents, which is fine. They could argue that they're looking more at the consumer and trying to protect the consumer in these situations. I believe that this is just another attempt of Redfin to try to squeeze out the real estate agent. I think it's extremely unfair and here's why. Not because I'm against transparency, but if we're gonna be transparent here, why don't we talk about all the fees that real estate agents have to pay, e and insurance to the local boards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How about all the time that they have to spend with the buyer, how many hours goes into that deal? How about any credits that a lot of real estate agents give towards inspection and repair items? Let's go ahead and be transparent about everything if we're gonna be transparent about just the commission. So that's what I think is unfair about this is that the consumer is gonna see the buyer's agent's fee and just think, oh, that's a lot of money. You know, we need to negotiate this fee when they're not seeing the whole picture, they're just seeing one side of it. I think this is definitely a low blow by Redfin. Not worried about it whatsoever. I've said this in videos before, they have very low-end service to the consumer. That's why they have two out of five star ratings and they continue to lose money every year, every quarter, and they're scrambling around to try to figure out a way to make money and disrupt the industry, and it's just not happening for them. They just keep banging their head against the wall, doing things like this to try to disrupt the industry, and all it's doing is making them look bad. And let me throw out the fact that I am absolutely not a hater of Redfin. I want Redfin to succeed. I want them to flourish. I want them to do very well. I just think that the manner that they're trying to do this is absolutely backwards and is giving off the wrong impression. It's creating a very bad reputation for them as a company and overall I think in the long run it's not going to work out for them. But we'll see how this all works out in the end. We'll be watching it. I will be reporting anything that I find. Again, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what in the world I can do for you and let's go. Oh, 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 oh,